Okay, today for my build video, we are taking a look at the Motion Pikachu by the Mega Corporation. This is not really one of the Pokemon sets that I was too concerned with collecting. Look, they've got several of these that've got the Motion gimmick. This one does look probably the best out of all of them, just because the Pikachu looks like good form. It looks even almost better than the Jumbo Pikachu. But I ended up getting this one for Christmas, so now my curiosity is peaked, and of course I'm going to build it. So let's go ahead and open them up and see if this gimmick's worth the time. And here we have the Motion Pikachu set, which surprisingly I had a lot of fun building and it's a lot of fun kind of to mess around with. Builds with a lot of gears and stuff are not my strong suit, especially in like my own builds. It's just nothing that I've been very great at. And this one was pretty complex as far as my skill is concerned, but it was a good fun challenge. I really enjoyed putting it together, seeing how everything worked, making sure I was paying careful attention that everything connected right and was placed where it needed to be so that way the motion worked smoothly. And the final product was a lot of fun to have. 
I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than it turned out, just going off of the box. I thought it was going to be closer to the Jumbo Pikachu size, but I think this size actually works fairly well, mostly because I kind of don't have a lot of shelf space, so the smaller the better currently. I do have a couple complaints about this set, chief being the 14 large plastic bags that houses the pieces to build this set seems really excessive and just not needed. It creates a lot of waste and I feel like they could have lowered that number by, you know, bagging a couple steps together instead of spreading them out by bag by bag. The other thing I didn't like about this set is this grass effect in the front. It's kind of fun, but the fact that it doesn't hide that the rest of the ground isn't moving around it doesn't really work for me. Also, this tread is constantly falling apart. If you turn it the wrong way, or turn it too fast, or turn it too slow, then it just snaps and just keeps clicking, clicking, clicking. And I've had to take this front end off to fix it several times now. Really annoying. So I wish they could have left it just as like solid ground instead. So all in all, I'm kind of happy I got this for Christmas. It was an unexpected gift, as most gifts are, but it wasn't something I was planning on getting myself. So I was going into this pretty blindly and I'm happy with the end result. I think the motion looks great. It's fairly smooth and the way everything works together, the head, the tail, the legs, all creates a really great movement for Pikachu to do. So yeah, will I get any of the other motion sets? Probably not. Maybe if there's like a really good sale on them. I'm pretty happy with just this Pikachu. It's It was fun. If you see it on sale or think about getting it yourself, I'd go ahead and pick it up. All right, on my next action figure unboxing, I have this wave that I'm not really sure what to call. I think it's called the Publishing Wave, uh, but it's the first one. It was released back in 2021 to celebrate Lucasfilm's 50th anniversary, and it was releasing figures based on appearances from graphic novels and other novels. So it was a fun way to get some, it was hopefully going to be new characters. But as you can guess or have heard, it's a lot of repaints and kit bashes of stuff we already have. But was this first wave that kicked off the series worth getting? We're going to look back and find out. Until then, stay safe. Happy hunting. <laughs>